All right, now that we've done some stuff over at the Pokestar Studios, and I've become a movie star, um, we need to get over to Castellia City. But there's trouble a brewing over by the dock. So if we go over here, so you guys are Team Plasma then. That's right, we're Team Plasma. Two years ago, we were betrayed by the man we respected as our king and hero. So our conquest of the Unova region ended in failure. However, we'll never give up. We will persevere. We already have another plan in motion. Shut it. <laughs> you guys are the worst. You talk about saving Pokemon, but you're just Pokemon thieves. Don't think I'll ever forgive you. In the ranch, we got chased by Lillipup. And now we're getting involved in trouble. This kind of stinks. Well, it's okay, isn't it? If we steal their Pokemon. Okay, kiddos, when you're ready, give it your best shot. Oh, snap. I'll crush you in your new plans. I can never forgive Team Plasma. Wow, he's got some serious rage issues. All right, who do we have up front here? Uh, wow, did I really not heal? Oh, well, it's not a big deal. Um, we'll just go with this. I want to give my little Azuril a little bit of experience. What? Think you can beat me? Yes, I do. Haha! -ha! Your Pokemon will be helping us take over the world in a few seconds! Really? Huh, sounds kind of intriguing, actually. So, here is the new Team Plasma music. And the new Team Plasma outfit, for that matter. We didn't take this guy on before. This is the first Team Plasma grunt you have to fight in the game. Anyways, you can hear, the theme is a remix of the original. It's a little more intense. I think they went a little extreme on the uh, percussion, though. I prefer the original. This is the part I don't like. Uh, actually, no, it's the next part coming up. Er, darn it, I missed it. <laughs> oh well, there's this one part where it just plays like these drums way too fast, and I don't know. I can't believe kids like these caught us off guard. Let's run. Where are you gonna... Oh, wow, you're just gonna run right through me, why don't you? Sisk, what a bunch of creeps. Split up. You go check Route 20. Well, where are you going? If I'd lost, my precious Pokemon would have been taken. Thanks, you two. Use this. All right. HM1. Cut. Why, thank you. That's a hidden machine, right? It's cut. Pokemon that know cut can use it even when they're not in battle to cut down small trees. All right. We're going to split up and search on Route 20. Sounds great. Um, but first, since we can use Cut now, we might as well. Don't mind if I do. Uh, ooh, that stinks. Well, you know what? One thing you definitely don't want to do is teach it to one of your main Pokemon, because Cut is a pretty lousy move. It only has 50 power and only 95% accuracy, so Tackle is actually superior in every way. But what you can do is put it on a Pokemon you don't plan on using. In this instance, I'll put it on Petrat because it's a Pokemon that, well, I don't plan on using, but uh, it can learn Cut. I think, uh, I think, no, I don't remember if Lillipup can or not. I think maybe, but I do know that Petrat can. Cool, so let's teach it Cut. Yeah. Now the downside is, you know, you, you can't remove those moves. That's why I don't recommend teaching them. You can't remove HM moves freely. You can only do it once you get to the move deleter and he is all the way in the Pokemon World Tournament, which can only be found after getting your fifth gym badge. So it's, you know, quite a ways away. Now let's uh, go back to the Verbank complex and cut this tree down. I know, it's been bothering me. Stupid shrub! Pick up a super potion for my endeavors. Righteous! Love me some super potion. It's just super. It's the greatest. Except for the fact that it isn't. In fact, it's actually pretty bad. Once you get lemonades and stuff, I mean, they're so much better. It's just ridiculous. Oh, no, I already traded that guy. I keep forgetting. Oh, yeah. I only got four and a half hours of sleep tonight. It's still the same day. It's still the seventh... Were you here before? I think you were. All right, let's see. So we need to chase Team Plasma on Route 20. They're pretty easy to track down. All we need to do is just run back up to, uh, well, this bridge, actually, and we'll find Hugh. Help me check out Route 20. Sure. So south of the bridge, I think it's south. That's where we're going to find him. Team Plasma grunts. 
and a seawaddle. Yeah, I don't really need you. I'm so glad that Azuril's getting moderately strong now, thanks to uh, Return. And Return is a normal type, just like Azuril, so that's good. All right, here is the Team Plasma Grunt that got away. So, kind of right south of this lass. Definitely want to talk to this person. I really hate it when people won't let things go. I know, it's the worst, man. They look like ninjas. It's just kind of weird. They look like a combination of pirates and ninjas. That is like an unholy union that should never be. The Pirate Ninja. Uh, yeah, so... She has a Purloin, level 14 on her team. It's using Assist, but there's no other Pokemon on the team. It does nothing. Wow, that return has gotten really strong. I'm kind of glad about that. What a pesky little kid. Ah, don't call me pesky. <gasps> Finally! This is moderately good news. The downside is I lose that same type attack bonus on um, return because Meryl is a water type. But I'm still happy with that. Trust me, I get to use my namesake. My favorite Pokemon, Meryl! Yay! Congratulations, your Maryland evolved into Meryl. And it's certainly a bit better than Azuril, that's for sure. Uh, but it still has a long way to go. Goodbye, Verbank City. One more level, actually, and it'll evolve again. In fact, it evolves from Maryland to Azumarill at level 18, so... Uh, wait, how did he come from the other side? He must have jumped. She just said something useful. They must be moving around by boat. Castellia City has a big port. I wonder if they headed there. Okay, let's go back to Verbank and look for someone who looks like they know a lot about ships. If I remember right, there is a place to board boats on the docks. No, you don't say a place to board boats? On the docks? Are you insane? All right, so let's take a look at my little Meryl here. Yay, Maryland. Now, I'll be honest. One thing I was actually really nervous about, <laughs> there is this thing with Azuril, right? Meryl is a Pokemon that has a 50% chance of being either male or female. Same with Azumarill, okay? Well, Azuril actually has, oh, what is it? A 25% chance of being, um, oh, actually, I guess I didn't have to worry in the first place. If it were a female, I would worry. But Azuril has a 75% chance of being a female and 25% chance of being male. Now, you know, that sounds all right and all, but it causes a problem if you happen to be, well, you obviously won't be, but if you happen to have an Azuril that falls within that 25% difference, okay? Let's say... 52%, all right? If, if your Azuril is between 50 and 50, uh, 75%, well, then it's going to be a female. But if it evolves, then it suddenly turns into a male. Yeah, it's the only Pokemon in the game that can actually change its gender as it evolves. Um, now, if you have a male Azuril from the start, which I guess in thinking about it now, I'm kind of glad I got one, realizing they're rather rare. And I wasn't going to settle for any that wasn't, I'll be honest. But I just thought I'd pass along that little bit of trivia for you, because it's one of those weird bits. It's even worse than Dawn's Turtwig, or her Piplup or whatever. I mean, it changes gender too in a Platinum or Diamond and Pearl, it seems. At least it did in my video series. So, now we've taken out Team Plasma, I think. And, oh, we've evolved my little Azuril. Ironically, I think it's gotten a little bit weaker, but it still has effectively 32 attack, and that's not too bad. It's the same as Scaleaf here, and it will evolve, and it'll get much stronger, too. Alright. Well, let's, uh, oh, hello, what's going on over here? I thought your movie was pretty good. So you saw it. That movie was... No, it wasn't the movie, it was me. I was so excited that I didn't really become Riolu Man. Acting like that won't thrill or excite anyone. Come on, don't get down. You can keep trying while you continue on as captain. As long as you don't cause anyone trouble, I won't get mad. I don't know how the Pokestar Studios people feel about that, though. 
Oh, did you hear us? Well, it looks like everyone from Team Plasma got away. I don't really feel good about it, but at least they're gone. Oh, there was a lot of ruckus, but you can sail to Castellia City now. Well, that's good. Castellia City is a really nice big city. Plus, it's the first place you can go that was in the original games. Pop Roxy. Oh my goodness, Pop Roxy. That's hilarious. Okay, I guess I'll do my best as a captain. I'll excite and thrill everyone by barreling through rough waves. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's not necessary, pal. You know, you can keep it nice and smooth, and that'll be just fine by me. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. Cool. So, you're going to Castellia City, right? I'm going to look for Team Plasma. I can't forgive those guys. Hey, Captain, show us the ship you're so proud of. Of course, please step this way. I'm on a boat! Oh yeah, taking a boat on over to the next destination. Where are we going? We're going to the colossal Castellia City. Look at that thing, it's huge. What a big city. How awesome. I just love Castellia City, it's so enormous. Man. Whew, we arrived. Everyone, we've arrived at Castellia City. So this is Castellia City. It's much bigger than I'd heard, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to find Team Plasma no matter where they run. Oh yeah, Devin, here, let's register each other's cross transceiver number. We didn't even need to in Aspersia. We could see each other anytime. That's a strange ship, a sailing ship in this day and age. Huh, go figure. Must have been on sale. Oh, see what I did there? Anyway, we're going to explore um, I think all of Castellia City on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon White 2 Adventure. See you next time, trainers.